know how to tape the metatarsal, take that same concept and let's extrapolate it to the nail bed, okay? So this is an athlete who is in play and they've come to you maybe at a medical tent and they're like, my toe's killing me. And you say, well, take your shoe and sock off. Let's take a look. And it's a bloody toe. Are you going to drain the blood right then? It depends. depends on what? Yeah, but they're, you're in the medical tent. They're in the middle of their race, and they are coming to you, and they're saying, my toe hurts. Are you going to drain it right then and there? Okay, why? What's your rationale? I'm assuming they still want to play. Yes! <laughs> they still want to finish the race. So no, in that moment you are not. But what are you going to tell them? Go get a check out after. Come back. I'm going to be here all day at the medical tent. I'm going to be here for you. Let's drain it after so it doesn't hurt so much. Yes. Um, so does it Thing? Yeah, because okay. they're in the okay. middle. Okay. You're not going to really drain stuff in the middle of an event. You don't have time. Okay. That drilling procedure is going to take several minutes to get down. So, no. You're likely going to just wait. You're going to do this tape instead to offload all the weight off of the toenail bed, send them back in, and say, come back to me after, and I'll drain it after for you. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's assume she's done that, right? She's injured this nail bed. It's all black and blue. It's um, painful for her. She feels like she's got a lot of um, pressure on the foot. That's usually what they're gonna report to you. Um, what we need to do in that instance, because we do wanna spray, we need to cover the nail bed, okay? When we spray it. So I might do something like that and do a light. Now, if they're in, the, in an event, I'm gonna go heavier. Okay, and then we'll just kind of let that get nice and tacky. And then what we've got ready to go, again, we've already pre-cut all these. I have these in my kit like this, so I don't have to take time to do the cutting. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is Peel that back, and sometimes it doesn't peel perfectly. Good, okay. So again, we're gonna take that piece off. So now I have to go around her nail bed, okay? So I've gotta make sure like, that's okay. Yes, she tells me, no problem. That's okay, yes, that's okay. And then I'm going to finish this bumper on the top. Because what's going to happen now is her shoe is going to touch all of this. And when she's in her shoe, the shoe will hit the bumper and not her nail bed. Okay, that's why we call it a bumper. Okay, so we've got a donut. But the concept of the donut now is not just to delineate a line and area. It's to create a bumpering mechanism. Okay, so once I got rid of that piece of gauze because I threw some spray on it, I get a second piece. And you see how I try to cut it inside because it can get kind of hairy when you cut gauze with scissors. And so what we're gonna do here, actually, and what I, I think we have it somewhere, I'll grab it for you guys, is called second skin. Does everyone know what second skin is? Majority, no, okay. So second skin is a small film that is somewhere in the stacks, we'll grab it. It's a small film that is like a gel, okay? You're gonna tear off the backing. We'll put a piece of second skin here. It's the name tells you what it is. It's literally trying to lay down another layer of skin for protection, okay? So when we're dealing with nails and nail beds, any of the nails, we're gonna use second skin. So I'm gonna grab that to show it to you. After we put on a layer of second skin, we're gonna put our layer of gauze as a protection. Now you can make that a small circle. I just kind of fit in what I need. 
Then we're gonna start taking our coverall. The first piece we wanna do is make sure that we secure down that gauze so that it doesn't fall out when we're taping it. So we're just gonna kinda come right on top and we're gonna create a little hat, okay? So small strips, we're gonna then create a hat the other direction. Okay, and then I just smooth down my edges. The smaller the toe, the thinner and the shorter the hats, okay? Because you have to mimic, if I put this size here, I'm gonna have all sorts of dog ears, okay? So you gotta go real skinny and thin when you're dealing with different toes, okay? So from there, we're gonna take our longer strips and we're gonna come around. So if they can spread their toes, great. If not, you have them reach down and give you some space and help you. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a, a wrapping technique. And I wanna envelop as much of that toe as I can. And perfect, that's all it really needed. It just needed one, okay? The longer the toe, the more you're gonna probably need to wrap. You see how I have not crossed her joint here? She has full access. She is not gonna feel any of that tape bothering her foot, okay? So that's important that on the bottom of the foot, the strips don't run down to the metatarsals, okay? So now we're gonna do another set of hacks to finish it off. Okay, try to measure relatively close. So we did two hats. I wrapped it around. I'm going to do, if you felt like this was a really long toe and you had some gaps, you would use your second one. Go around again, okay, and fill it in. But I feel like we've covered her really well. And so I'm just going to finish with another hat to secure all that on and another one the opposite direction. So they sort of crisscross on each other, okay? Now, what we need to be aware of is that this tape can rub on this toe and create a blister here. So we're gonna layer lube up and down this toe and on the inside of the tape so that we have no risk of getting this toe injured, okay? Okay, good. So this is how we do the toe wrap. So we see we could have come down even a little bit more, but we didn't need to because it was the nail bed, okay? If this is where the blister was, well, that changes it because I have to really cover all of that, okay? So you could have a blister here. You can almost see she's got a little light, light callus starting that could break open into a blister. So if that's the case, then you would take your uh, donut and you would go around this section, okay? It's wherever the injury, the callus, the blister wound is, is where you're gonna go. Whichever nail bed it is, is where you're gonna go. Make sense? Okay, I'm gonna show you one more. <clears throat> 